They're a much fitter team than they were when they left home. They're a much closer team than they were when they left home. And I'm sure the boss is closer to knowing who are going to be his main men for the upcoming campaign, which is drawing ever closer. The main men in the box with me today. Delighted to have Paddy Crone and Boyan Jordic alongside me. And Paddy, Manchester United, Real Madrid, need we say more? Oh, it's probably one of the most exciting club games you could get. Players will want to win, of course. You don't come all this way pre-season training. You want to win this match. United will want to win. There's no question about that. So will Real Madrid. United have probably a slight advantage of having played a couple of games. They haven't played yet, have they? Yeah, first action for Real Madrid on this tour. Although they've been training for pretty much as long as Manchester United have. United, of course, with games under their belt. But looking to uh, step forward really now and make sure that they're on that team sheet for that Super Cup game against Real Madrid in about a fortnight's time, Bo. Uh, the big game is, of, of course, in Macedonia, Skopje, when we take on Real Madrid. And you can see as well on the manager's starting 11, the way he's picked his team as well. He's not as strong as the 11, but there's a lot of there for these players to prove. I'm talking about three players. It's Timothy Fonsu, Mensa, uh, Pereira, and of course, Anthony Martial. They have to step it up. They have to take this chance and prove to the manager that there's some, some players to count on. Indeed, some terrific names on the team sheet for both sides. Great to see traditional colours on show between Manchester United and Real Madrid as well. Oh, but the guy with the funny hat that's come out of the ball, he's not the referee, is he? <laughs> Have you seen him? <laughs> Ronald McDonald. <laughs> is that yeah. who it is? He's not going to referee the game, thankfully. Axel Tuanzebi and Demi Mitchell are likely to see some action later. Romero gets the gloves, we'll see De Gea in the second half. Bailly and Jones is the combination at centre-half. The trio in the middle of the park, Pereira, Carrick and Fellaini. And Marcus Rashford leads the line with Lingard and Martial either side. Real Madrid have waved goodbye to James Rodriguez, Alvaro Morata and Danilo in the last fortnight. But they include new signings, uh, Danny Thabal is in their travelling squad, although he's not playing today. And Theo Hernandez, who is on the bench this afternoon. Various youngsters here as well. No Cristiano Ronaldo, he's still enjoying some time off after playing and scoring in the Confederations Cup for Portugal recently. They go. Manchester United will kick us off. Lingard and Rashford will do the honours. Great to see the two new home strips on show today. As these two sides go into battle, might well see them do battle on the European stage throughout the course of the season. Game four of United's pre-season pits the Champions League champions against the Europa League winners. This is a European Super Cup dress rehearsal. And just we'll see where they stand against Real Madrid. This is Martial. Taken on by Link. It's beaten away by Keylor Navas, the first real opportunity for United in this game. Yes. Good lively pace, Bo, to this opening. It is. It's Anthony Martial driving forward, winning shape back. Got the breath back, perhaps, a little bit as well. Rashford, nice touch for Lingard. Put him in. Jesse's going to go for it. <laughs> well, it's the second time he's had a go from that kind of distance. And it's the second time Real Madrid have been particularly concerned. Uh, just the outside of his right foot it's opening the space here he goes left and he pulls away his breath but at the same time this is a totally different starting level than we saw before as well a lot of new a lot of new faces playing first time together they here's a play for Martial here's Martial yes. brilliant from Martial on a plate oh. for Lingard we have a goal and it's beautifully created by the Frenchman Anthony Martial Jesse Lingard pounces and Manchester United lead on the cusp of half time Oh, a tremendous goal. I mean, what can you do when people are taking you on inside your own penalty area? You can't make a challenge. All credit to Martial. Fantastic bit of skill. This is the Anthony Martial big craving for. Anthony Martial from his first season taking on defenders with pace. And look at that. It's three Real Madrid defenders coming out. But he believes in himself. Right, left. He gets a little bit lucky with that. And then he chooses the right option. And Jesse Lingard scores. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, fantastic for the crowd. They've erupted. Shades of his run against Liverpool at Old Trafford from Anthony Martial, but this time it was Lingard who put it in the net, and it's Manchester United who lead by a goal to nil Hopefully in the heat in Santa Hopefully. Clara. Hopefully this will bring smile to his face, because he needs to start smiling, enjoying his football back again. When you're a young player and you're out of the... Fellaini will look to try and get this away. Varane got the touch. There's room here for Kroos to run onto it. Bale is there with a the header, might fall for Benzema, but he's offside. Flag goes up, it's not going to count. 
Oh, what a bit of change for third again. <laughs> Not a half of the arrangement, but it was offside. It was, as you would say, a click of the heels. And Lindelof has to be oh, careful, and he wasn't. And, it's a and that is a penalty. Teo Hernandez had only just got up from the floor, having been knocked down by Mkhitaryan. And he's now in a crumpled heap after the challenge from Lindelof, and Real Madrid have a way back into this game. Well, it's a solid challenge, there's no need to make it. Just go and protect them. Oh, dear me. And even you, Paddy, can't, no, can't, can't say that's can't not a penalty. excuse for that, no. <laughs> That's a stonewall penalty, but a great ball from Kovacic mm -hmm. as well, and we saw why they brought Theo Hernandez in for them runs. He's powerful when he gets going, and penalty for Real Madrid. And it's going to be Casimiro to take this. David Pejé will do his best. Let's see what indeed he can do. Not a lot about that. That was travelling straight penalty. into the back of the net, and Real Madrid are on terms with three quarters of the game gone. Now you always say when you take a penalty. I know Scots will just blitter it, aim it and hit it as hard as you can and that's exactly what you've done, giving the goalkeeper no chance. Sorry, Pen. But it was a once again, that quick free kick they took and we were not on guard, we were ball watching. Kovacic gets the ball, Hernandez, that was fouled, gets up, makes that run and Victor should... United in a defensive sense. De Gea had to be careful, managed to dig it out. Great attempt that wasn't it? That was a fantastic attempt that and a fantastic save from De Gea. As a goalkeeper, you've just got to have all angles covered here, haven't you? Oh, that's a great free kick that will be seen. McTominay. It's a great ball that made the score. Why didn't he put his head on it? I know it wasn't high. Oh, what a great opportunity that was. It's a great ball from the youngsters, Carl McTominay. And Fellaini yeah. needs to put that away. Found at the back of that goal, disappointed he hasn't. Let's have a look at you now. Martial first up for Manchester United. Not what a player lacking confidence requires. Well, that just a bit got to your hotel down the back there. Good view from behind and high wide and definitely not handsome. Well, Real Madrid don't have very much by way of experience available to them out there, but they've gone for the Croatian Mateo Kovacic. And he too fails to score. David De Gea sorted out. I always think when a goalkeeper chooses to go the right way, and that's exactly what De Gea did, it has to be, a, it has to be an exceptional penalty. Something that we saw from Casemiro during normal play. And a very good save there from Spain's number one. Next to face Kiko Casilla is Scott McTominay. A young midfield player on the very fringes, the outer fringes of the first team squad at Manchester United. Three taken. We've yet to see a conversion. I'm going to have to get my boots on in a minute, get down there, put a penalty in. Well, you're the man that nearly scored a hat trick of Premier League penalties, aren't you? I, I emphasize uh, the nearly. I, I, I did, yes. I, I missed. I may have missed one of the three. <laughs> 19 year old Oscar Rodriguez. And still no success. That's a better save from De Gea. Had further to go. Well. Fabulous from De Gea again, but four penalties, zero on the scoreboard. Gets the high right arm up. Henrik Mkhitaryan now. Now, we're talking about technique and a footballer who is yet to find his feet really at Man United, but we know he's a quality player. Surely he's going to score the first penalty. Surely. The Armenian Mkhitaryan scores at last.
Yeah, nice casual one there from a very experienced player. Kicking next for Real Madrid, number 26, Luis Miguel Quesada. Quesada for Real Madrid. And the hair got a hand to it. But that's what I'm saying. When a keeper chooses to go the right way, as good as the hair is, it has to be on the money. And this absolutely was. Might just have dived over the in, in second view, and he might just have dived underneath this. Ooh. And here's the man who's clumsy defending. Allowed the game to go as far as penalties. Victor Lindelof, the new Swedish recruit from Benfica. This has to be one of the worst collections of penalties <laughs> I've ever seen. No, that was like taking a driver out and topping it about 40 yards down the fairway. He scoffed it. He scoffed this. Look. He didn't even, he didn't even kick it properly. So we've seen seven penalty attempts and only two goals scored. Next up at the shooting gallery, Teo Hernandez. Still a teenager, big money signing for Real Madrid. Well, it's bordering on the ridiculous. Are we, are we watching Real Madrid versus Manchester United here in a penalty shootout, or, or is somebody, or are we watching something else? I mean, it's, I mean, it's not exactly pressure, is it? It's not the Champions League final. thought that professional pride would dictate that we'd see better penalties than these. Daily Blint. No sign of Lukaku taking one. This guy's a good penalty taker. See how I've just jinxed him now. <laughs> 2 1. Manchester United which means that Real Madrid have to score this next kick to stay in the contest. Casemiro coming up as we watch the replay of that, waits for the goalkeeper to go and then goes down the middle. Is he going to smash it again, John? I wonder. Well, it worked last time, but <laughs> it certainly did. It was emphatic. At last, we've got a proper penalty taker. Will we get a proper penalty? Casemiro, well it's sent it up, the bar in the way, Manchester United victorious after one of the worst penalty shootouts I promise you will ever have to sit through, but they get the points.